Hi everybody, I'm Manon. Welcome to my art channel. I'm happy that you're there with me today because today is going to be a tutorial, a teaching class, if I can say so, of how I mix my paints. So, I mean, this is gonna be, it should be a short video. I don't wanna make it, you know, very complicated. This is really very simple. And what I'm about to show you is what works for me. Doesn't mean it's gonna work for everybody. But I think that sometimes mixing too many products together makes it complicated for nothing. So I will show you how I do this and I'm gonna stop talk talking right now and I'm gonna bring you down on my table to show you what I use and how I do it. Bring you down right now. Okay guys. I'm back. So here are the products that I use most of the time. Well, not most of the time, but all the time. <laughs> so to make it pretty easy, okay, I have these big jugs here. Uh, this is Liquitex Medium Gloss, and this is Liquitex Medium Gloss Pouring Medium, actually. This is Pouring Medium, this is Pouring Medium. But this is a glossy one, this is a regular one. So as you can see, you have a green label here and you have a gray label here. So, uh, as you can see, this bottle here is an old container um, that I just refill because for me it's easier than to take it always out of this big jug here. This used to be Liquitex Medium Gloss and Varnish. And people bought this thinking it you can use it for varnishing your, your pieces. But no, it is not a varnish. It is a medium gloss. So this is why they changed the label. This was a green, dark green label here. Now they put a light green here. But it's the same product. So use it as a pouring medium not as a, as a varnish. Now, this is Liquitex Pour Medium with the gray label here, here. And since I have this big jug, <laughs> I put it in these little bottles. These are actually coffee creamers. Uh, and I write on here, Liquitex Pour Medium. It's that simple. So we can get rid of these. And I will talk to you now of my Floetrol. This is actually strained Floetrol. I have, I bought, I buy them in these big jugs there, these gallons, and I put on the top a uh, nylon socks there, <laughs> pantyhose, yes, pantyhose on top of the big jug, and I pour it in this little one here. So when com it comes time to um, mix my paints, makes it pretty easy. It's already strained, so just give it a little shake, and there we go. Okay, now I wanted to talk to you about, because some people ask me about this, I have soft body acrylic paint in white and soft body acrylic paint in black in from Artist Loft, okay? See, the other day I showed you <laughs> that I write on these bottles, ready to use, RTU, okay? So this means that these are reused bottles. This means that in these bottles, I put, let's say, half, well, not half, not totally half. It, it's actually two parts Floetrol for one part paint. So, I hope I'm clear here. So that means I fill up this, when it's empty, okay, I fill up this bottle about up to here, right here, with Floetrol, and then I pour in this bottle, the same thing, uh, the soft body in white. And then I mix, I give it a, mix it up. So it makes a, like, a pillow. A pillow paint you know it's thick enough to be a pillow paint 
and if you just use it use it that way you can use it as a um, paint in your you know while you're doing a uh, my, not a flip cup but you know a watering pour or a straight pour or whatever you could use it that way because it's thick enough if you pour this in a glass it's going to be in a glass in a cup it's going to be a mound on a mound on a mound before it disappears so I do the same thing in black now when I want to do a Dutch pour or a an open cup then I take this potion that already has two parts Floetrol, one part paint. I put it in these containers here. I put it up to, see, I divide this in four parts, okay? So I bring it up to 75% of the bottle here, the jug, whatever, the, <laughs> call it what you want. <laughs> I bring this stuff up to here and then the 25% left, I fill it up with water. So this gives me, uh, let's say about 50% Floetrol, 25% paint, and the other 25% is water. And this gives me the perfect consistency to do a Dutch pour. So when I show you my consistencies when I do Dutch pour, is I pick up the paint with my stick and it leaves almost no trace a little bit of trace and it's gone so this is my consistency that I use to do Dutch pours and open cups so I think that this is pretty simple so I, I always have these ready to use paints for me if I want to do if I want to use them in a pour like a ring pour a straight pour a wandering pour whatever I use this straight. Then, if I want to do a Dutch pour or an open cup, I put water in here and it's pretty thin. So, now I will come back and show you how I really mix my paints uh, my two paints, my heavy body paints, and my less heavy body paints, thinner paints, I should say. I'll be right back with you guys. All right. Hi, Mac. <laughs> so, guys, you are used to seeing me reuse the old stuff. <laughs> These little bottle of juices contain, actually, 300 milliliters of liquid. Okay? So this means a little bit more than eight ounces. It's actually about 10 ounces of liquid that comes in here. So for me, I think it's perfect when I want to pre-mix my paints before I do a pour. So I like, when I come down here, I like to just get on my tablets that I will show you afterwards. Get on my shelves here and just okay. This is what I was talking about when I said that I pre-mix my colors most of the time uh, before. <laughs> so yes, sometimes I could spend half a day here just mixing my deco arts here, paints, and up here in the cabinet I have my folk art, uh, I have my glosses, my Amsterdam, here I have my uh, li uh, not liquidix but artist loft black and white and all the pouring medium I need and these are all my two paints here hanging over here so when I want to pre-mix a color and these are the little crafts one that I usually talk about you know this is my favorite peacock blue it comes in these little bottles and so yes I take these little bottles of juice and I keep them I reuse them and I pre-mix all my paints so when I get up a morning and I say to myself hmm, it would be fun to do a painting 
oh here and I, I gotta show you this these are the little racks there for my golden paints and my Windsor Newton I've showed you this in the past but for my new viewers <laughs> So yeah, when I get up in the morning and I say to myself that I want to do a painting and I don't feel like mixing paints, well, there they are. They are all pre-mixed. Sometimes I just have to adjust the consistency. Sometimes I add a little bit more soft gel glass or sometimes I have to add water. It depends on the kind of pouring I want to do. And here down here, I have my squeeze bottles also. And they're all mixed the same, all of them. So they are ready to use for me. So yeah, this is what I wanted to show you guys. <laughs> Let's go back to what we were saying. <laughs> and decide which color I want, and it's already ready. It's ready for me. So it's pretty simple. It's pretty fast, quick, and easy. Uh, of course, when I mix my paints, I could, spend half a day uh, mixing all my paints but when I'm ready to do a shooting of a video that I want to do I just pick my colors out and bing 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 I'm ready because <laughs> I have seen a few of my uh, artist fellows <laughs> on YouTube and some of them you know they make me smile because they keep on saying oh this is so long mixing paints before I do a video it's you know it does it, it lasts forever and um well this is why i do not like spending time mixing uh paints just before i do a video so i love doing this when i'm just you know alone do my stuff pre-mix all my paints and there it is so let's go on with this now like I say, I usually eyeball it. So I take this 300 milliliter uh, little bottle here. I take my Liquitex medium gloss. I, I don't know why, but I always give it a shake. So I get used to it. Okay, so now I open this up and I put a big squirt there. So this is about at least an ounce. I don't know if you can see it, but look at that. Okay. Ah, oh, it's an ounce and a half at least. Yeah. I'm, I put a little bit more than I wanted in here, but it's okay. Now, if I want to use my heavy body paints, okay, this is golden paints, and this is actually medium magenta, okay? These are very, very highly pigmented uh, paints. So, what I do is I take about a third of this little uh, uh, tube here, okay, I put it in the bottle, straight, see, I just eyeball it, I just don't measure, you can if you want, but that's about, let's say half an ounce, because they are very highly pigmented, these paints here, and then, you can add liquid expori medium if you want, or most of the time what I do, I just pour some Floetrol. And I'm the generous type, so I'm going almost to the top with this. Whoops, my goodness. <sighs> like I used to, I always say, I'm a messy girl, guys. Look at that. <laughs> I managed to pour outside of this bottle. <laughs> Can you imagine? Oh my goodness, this is me. So, I bring it up, not to the rim. So it's about, let's say, total 300 milliliters. Oh, well, not 300, but maybe 290. Okay, just to leave a little bit of room for us to mix. And now, you just have to give a big, big shake. Okay, and then you go. You have your paint mixed. You could pre-mix it again because in the bottom here there's still some Liquitex uh, medium gloss. So I mix it, I leave it alone for a few minutes, and then I remix it 
and then my paint is ready to go. And if it's not thick enough, okay, sometimes it depends when you get Floetrol that is thin. Uh, if this is not thick enough for you, I add um, it's Golden Soft Gel Gloss. I will show you the picture of this uh, on the camera. Okay, so this is for the heavy body paints. What a pretty color, right? <laughs> All right, so now what I do if I want to mix a tube paint. So I chose another pretty color. It's Artist Love Vermilion. Now I do exactly the same thing. I will put a nice squirt of Liquidex Medium Gloss. Why do I do that? I could only put Flowdraw if I want, okay? But I love the finish of the Medium Gloss. Sometimes you do a painting, you don't even have to varnish it because it gives a little shiny gloss on uh, your painting and I love it. So I put about, I could put a little bit more. Okay, this is about an ounce. So you can write it down if you want to put eight, an ounce of, uh, if you want to measure it, you know. I don't like wasting time measuring. So here, I'm going to put a good amount of paint here. I think it's about two ounces of paint. Okay, tube paint. Yes, that's about two ounces. And then I fill it up with my Floetrol. You can also put Liquitex Pouring Medium. I think sometimes Liquitex is a little bit too thin for me. So, you know, it depends. Sometimes I add, sometimes I don't. But I want to make it simple today. So just bring up the Floetrol up to here. Not to the top, just to leave yourself some room to give it a good shake. And that way, when you shake it in these little bottles here, or squeeze bottles or whatever bottles you have, Believe me, you don't get any lumps. <laughs> no lumps at all. Everything is well mixed. Because sometimes if you mix it in a cup, you know, you get tired. And sometimes you still have some lumps. So mixing it that way. Here we go. A nice vermilion color. Perfectly mixed. Okay. We still have a little bit of Liquidex here in, at the bottom. Like I said, you let it sit and then you give it another shake and you're ready to go. Okay, now, this is DecoArt um, Crafters Acrylic Paint. Sometimes you get beautiful colors out of these, but they're not as thick as the tube paints. So. This means, now I work a little bit different. This means that I pour not exactly half-half, but almost half-half of um, the paint and the pouring medium, or pouring medium and the Floetrol. See? I still have some in here. I will just... See, you can hear it, that it's pretty thin. Well, pretty thin. It's thinner than the other paints. Okay. Oh, there's a goober here. There's a goober. Anyway, I don't have any more, much more in here. So, now I've put the paint in. I will put a, a squirt of Liquidex. Big squirt. And then I will put 
a bit of food draw. Okay. Now, as you can see, I didn't put as much as Floatrol in Liquitex uh, glass medium since it's thinner. And then you give it a good shake. And here we go. I could probably put the rest of the paint in here. If there's any more left, yes, there is. Not much. Oh, geez. I manage to squirt it out on the rim. Okay. Now, I will put these in little cups and I will show you the consistency of each and every color I did today. I will be back with you in just a second, guys. All right, guys. So, this is what I was talking to you about. The soft gel... Um, gloss that I use from Golden if I want to make these paints a little thicker. But if I want to do a straight pour, I think the consistency is just right. Let me show you. See? A little mound on a mound on a mound and gets to the bottom. So this is my tube paint. This is my heavy body. This is my to paint. I think you can see a little bit better here. See? Mound on a mound and it disappears. And this is the one I did with the, the crafts. See? Oh, we can see it better here. The mound on a mound. Some colors <laughs> and then it disappears. So this is the perfect consistency. Alright guys. Now I wanted to show you <laughs> how um, see I put about equal amounts of these three paints and let's see the consistency of all of them ta-da almost the same I could say yeah 95% same consistency even 99% same consistency <laughs> so yes this is it guys. This is the way you can find out if your consistency is good or not. So these three paints have the same consistency. The only thing, since this one was a heavy body, took less paint. This one was a tube paint, a medium body, took a little bit more paint. And this one took a lot more. So I could say this was about an ounce of paint. This was about two ounces of paint and this was four ounces of paint just to get the same consistency but you know guys you just have to play with your colors play with your paints don't see it as you know harsh word work uh, just have fun experiment this is the way you're gonna get through it so yeah uh, let's get back to what I was saying <laughs> so I hope that I have answered your question, guys. And um, yeah, uh, if you have any questions, any more questions that I did not answer, it wasn't so clear, please do not hesitate. Just shoot me an email or just write your comments down in the description box here, the, the, the comments there below, and it will be my pleasure to answer you. So I hope this was helpful, guys. And until the next video, au revoir.